my quick drawing of the day is going to be Two Face. So, all right, here we go. Um, this one took just a little bit longer. This one took about 45 minutes because I did something that I've been fighting against my whole life. I got a little bit into noodly land. I started noodling a little bit too much. I started thinking a little bit too much on detail and quit making step-by-step -step big blocky statements first. And I started focusing on little teeny details. And so uh, tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna really get back to where just I can get this done in about 30 minutes. 30 minutes is gonna be my maximum time. I'm gonna start doing five minute sketches too, just because speed I find can help really really help you focus and do the most important things first and being speedy is actually very very important in the commercial art world so here of course again I started with a very very basic sketch but you can kind of see right here I came in I started with a basic sketch and I started chunking in um, just putting in some good basic blacks but what I didn't do is I didn't grab that big old marker which is what I should have done I'm doing it kind of here I grab a big old marker but I didn't do that with everything. I didn't make big, bold statements and then come in and work on the detail after I make the big, bold statements. So I started doing some color. I started just going back and forth. And so again, what should have been well within 30 minutes turned into about 45 because I caught myself in noodly mode, noodly, doing the noodling. So I started off with uh, a good draft blue pencil. I came in with a big, thick, Copic wide marker, black. Then I came in with my Gossip Fude, and I started actually putting in some good, bold brush lines, bold statements. But again, I was I was too busy acting unsure and not busy enough, just letting go and letting it just happen. Just uh, I would like to call that no hesitation, if you will. Don't hesitate. Just go. Just let your mind be free and just go. And so I found myself thinking a little bit too much and didn't allow myself to actually just be free and let my mind kind of just create. So here I am, now I grab my uh, multi-liner. Again, I like using the gauze and foodie and the multi-liners when it comes, when I'm using Copics, is because the ink on this does not smear with Copics. And I had a couple other pens that I used that smeared with the Copics, which you'll probably see in the final product. When I started putting color on it, smeared with the Copics, I was so unhappy, which again caused me to get into a little bit noodly mode. So, again, just laying down some layers of colors. On this, I really should have thought about going uh, either dark to light, light to dark. The only thing is when I go light to dark, I tend to noodle a little bit more and uh, not make, again, the big bold statements. But I was still pretty free. I was letting it go. I mean, 45 minutes is not bad but I would like to actually have more energy into my art and actually feel more free when doing the art so here's where I grabbed the hand sanitizer and I started loosening up a little bit I grabbed the hand sanitizer because hand sanitizer out of alcohol um, does a really nice effect when it comes to these alcohol markers and so I can get some really nice texture on the uh, Too Faced skin I can get some really nice texture on the backgrounds I can start putting in some layers so if you need your hand sanitizer to dry a little bit faster, a heat gun can make your uh, hand sanitizer dry a little bit faster. I then came in with uh, the Gossip Foodie again, and I darkened in some of those blacks because I find that if you're really doing some layers on a piece, is your blacks can sometimes really lose a little bit of its luster and turn into a very dull gray. Again, grab the white pen and start highlighting certain white areas, mostly in the hair. And uh, then I grab my jelly pen and then I grabbed my white pencil. It's just a standard uh, Verithin Prismacolor white pencil. And I just start drawing some highlights into some of this piece. And uh, I find doing this quite a bit, just bringing a white pencil, a Verithin white pencil, can really put some really nice touches on what might seem like a not a very detailed piece or a sloppy piece and really tighten it up. So that came in and that happened pretty fast. Again, I got it done within some time. I came back in with a final pen, uh, a multi-liner, a pretty juicy multi-liner because I had some layers of uh, artwork on there. And I just kind of uh, darkened up some lines that had gotten a little bit too gray, so it looked a little bit too washed out. 
as you can see, I just darkened up some lines to actually make it look. And uh, well, there's the finished piece. Um, if you would like to actually own this piece, go ahead and contact me, instant message me, and uh, let me know you want it. All right, guys, go ahead and uh, subscribe, and uh, I'm going to draw something else for you tomorrow.